Andover Estate, London Borough of Islington. Built in the 1970s and densely populated, the estate has more than 1,000 homes, an area of high deprivation. There have been many challenges over the years. I've been living on the Andover Estate all my life. I attended a local primary school there. I'm a youth worker on the Andover Estate as well, and I like the privilege to work on my own estate. It's nice to be doing youth work in other places, but from you being given the opportunity to actually give back to your community, I really appreciate that as well. Living in Andover, I find it quite interesting, really, because there's never really a boring moment in Andover. There's always someone out, someone to have a conversation with. Andover Estate is a multicultural community. It's got quite a few parents, adults, children, old people. There's a lot of good things about Andover. Best things about Andover is like when you see like young people that are trying, they're not really getting too phased by what's going on around them, but they're still trying to persevere and do their little piece that they can do. In January 2007, ITV broadcast the programme Anne Widdicombe vs the Hoodies, where the MP visited the estate to report on antisocial behaviour. One of the best things about Andover is that I have a lot of friends that live nearby. I've plotted around there all my life, basically, and all my friends are around there. If I have arguments at home or something, it's to get away from my mum for a little bit, just to go out for a couple of hours. We've been there for so long now that we know the estate. Yeah, I was walking around the Andover estate. I have, actually, before, about 4 o'clock in the morning. When we come back from um, burnout sometimes, we have to walk through there on our own. I feel like I do know nearly everyone that lives in Andover. Andover's quite a big place, but it's quite a small place as in, like, everyone knows everyone. So my first impression is that it was quite good, like, really good community atmosphere. I know when you go into them first, they seem like they can be bad and sometimes quite threatening. Anne Widdicombe's report came at a cost. Many young people and residents felt they'd been misrepresented or not had the opportunity to present their thoughts in a fair and considered way. In response, these young people set about making their own film. I've lived in Andover all my life. I don't particularly like living on Andover, but um, I've got a lot of friends there. I come out every day and hang around in the estate and we laugh and joke. But a lot of the time I do worry about the people coming through the estate because there's a lot of people out um, nowadays um, they just come through to see what they can get, do you know what I mean? They don't know me, I don't know them, and they just come to see what they can take, basically. When I watched Anne Widdicombe's documentary about Andover Estate, I felt personally insulted because I felt as if she targeted only the negative sides of the estate rather than the positive. I respect her for coming down to Andover and viewed Andover for herself. What I disliked was when she was approaching the neighbours and the old people, she tended to wait until there was daylight or get them in a nice environment such as their own home where they feel safe or in the community cell when they're having fun, like say playing bingo. And then when it came to us teenagers, she either gathered us, found us in the blocks or maybe outside where it's all cold and we just could be there minding our own business or waiting for someone. When Anne Widdicombe first approached me with her bodyguards and camera crew and entourage, I felt rather intimidated because, I mean, the first thing she'd done was run up and stick the camera in my face and started bombarding me with all these questions. And I felt really uncomfortable and I didn't feel that I was in the right frame of mind to give her an interview or even talk to her, so I walked away. She needs to come and see the trouble she's caused. Basically, we've had a couple of the kids now that have been beaten up on this estate because other estates feel they're harder. I'm just praying that nothing happens to my son. I'd really like her to apologise to all the kids. It's ridiculous what she's done, and she needs to take a good, long, hard look at the programme she's made. My son is one of them youths. I liked it as a kid, because, like, there was no space and there was, there was loads of kids there, but now I don't like it.
like it as much because it's quite intimidating as like a young girl to be in there. To be honest, I'm not that bothered by them. Like my parents are a bit more cautious. Um, I think there's so many people in there, and I would never like to live in one. The perception of hoodies with asbos has increased the fear of young people. In reality, only 22% of all the antisocial behavioural orders served in Greater London have been to people under 18. Young people are by far the biggest victims of crime. To me now, the actual word hoodie, the way how I see it, it can be easily seen as an insult. I wear hoods. Does that make me a hoodie? My 68-year-old mother wears a hood. A jacket with a hood doesn't make us all hooligans. I disagree with the word hoodie because it's stereotyping someone by what they wear. I've tried to wear hoodies less and less because I realise that um, people tend to stereotype me with it. A hoodie is not a person or a way of life. It's a piece of clothing. Personally, being a young person in Andover makes me feel frustrated because the media and the older generation may think that all we do is harass people, sell drugs. There's a lot of different groups of young people on the Andover estate. The majority of them are quite cool, right, living there, and working there, majority of them are cool, but obviously it's like, because they're in certain situations and around different types of people, that's why you get different results from them. But there are some young people that are focused, like doing their thing in college. The majority of them all have potential, all of them got potential, but it's tapping into it really. Crime on the Andover has reduced steadily over the last four years. Criminal damage has fallen by 43% and burglaries have dropped by 54%. Living in Andover may um, affect my job opportunities because if I applied for a job and I went to the interview with my CV and the employer was to look at my CV and see that I lived in Andover, then they may discriminate Andover and then cast their judgments on Andover on me. There has been cases of drug dealing on the estate. If I was to say there ain't no drug dealing, that'd be a lie. And there has been fight and conflict, but I'm sure it's like that with estates in North London, South, East, outside London. Obviously, because there's big groups of us and we just stand outside the shops and have our little conversations and we're quite loud, but when old people say hello to us, we say hello back, we're not rude. Defensive, in my home or defensive, if you do not mention when questions, anything new, later, we're lying in court, anything you do, they may be given. What I've seen with the kids, they're well behaved. They're not saints, no kids are saints, but they're not as bad as they've been made out to be. There's an old people's home just outside of Andover. We've got a, a decent football pitch. You've got the Arsenal Positive Futures on here that are coming and teaching the kids to play football. Young people, they do congregate with their friends. Even when youth clubs are open, that doesn't mean every young person is going to be inside the youth club. See what I'm saying? You can't always expect them to be using the youth club. You can't always expect them to be at home. I think, I think their players, their players were, they were large kids, you know. They're big, like a lot of them towered over me, but. So I don't think there's no sense in highlighting problems and not trying to at least forward one solution. The council, the police, and residents, young and old, are working hard to improve their estate. This is a community looking forward. Succeed if you don't try. Go and get past. Go and get past.